Hello YouTube, how are you doing today? Um, so today, I have a special episode. I guess, I'm not sure if it'll be extra long. But I do know I'm going to try to do a run-through of the... I mean, not try, do a run-through of the, the prison, Kanaswa prison. And I will... I know I will succeed, unless something weird happens. Uh, I, I just did it, literally. If you want proof, right there, of those Metal Gears that you get when you defeat Cosmo. Alright, so anyway, I was here in the Inner Realm, and you may notice a lot of differences. Mandalore is now level 60. Uh, I did a lot of... I forgot what level he was in the previous video. I think level, level 55, I think. I don't know. I don't know. Um... So yeah, when you're level 60, it takes a lot of XP to, uh, level up, like, look at that. I'm, I'm just about, probably, halfway through of leveling up. Where's this teleporter at? No, it's down here, isn't it? Yeah, also, um, I, I did previously, when I, within, in between the last episode and this episode, I, like I said, I did the dungeons, I did Kanaswa Prison, and not just that, I did the Relic's Key as well. It's pretty cool. Uh, the Relic's Key, it was, it was good, of course. I, I didn't like how you had to stand there and protect the dude. I mean, it was easy, but overall, of previous games I've had, I've hated, like, I've hated timed missions or timed things. I hated protection, protect things for a limited time. I hate, I hate those missions. So yeah, I was, I wasn't when I, I went in the relics key, did all the bosses, then I came out and then I came out to a Burg burgundy deer, right there. And I fought around for a bit, used some bond stones, it uh, failed. And then I, I was starting to run out, so I looked in uh, Nick's shop, and I couldn't find any. And then I went out of Nick's shop, and it, of course it disappeared. So I looked around for about ten minutes for it, and then I finally found it. And by then, there were like millions of people swarming around it. Because I was probably one of the first, I probably was the first person to be there with it. Because I didn't see anyone else around. And then there were p other people around, and then I just went up, and I used the bond stone and captured it. Now, bond stones, I don't know if it's just lucky for me, but they're very useful. Do not save up for a mount. Those those, thou those thousand gold mounts, or 9,900 uh, gold mounts they got over in the, uh, what is it called? Uh, green mount. Do not buy those. Unless you want to. I don't know. I, I wouldn't recommend buying them, because... It's just it's too expensive, and it's yeah. I think I'd rather take a chance at catching a mount for probably like at least five to twenty gold instead of paying um, which I'm gonna call it for extra. So anyway, um, I'm just gonna sneak past these guys. Well, not really sneak. I can't get past. Them. Actually, I'm just gonna go ahead and uh, kill them. I'll just grab all these guys. And these guys over here. They don't really do much damage to me. But there's something you gotta know. Um, unless you have really good shadow resistance in this dungeon. Like, yeah, you have an item that gives you a lot of good shadow resistance. And you're gonna need this buff this guy gives you up here. I recommend it no matter what level you are. You know, you can always use a little bit of extra protection. Uh oh, exactly. Uh -oh. So if you're a high level and if you're if you're a tank, then you don't even have to probably worry. I mean, I'm not sure. I'm just saying, you. I'm not sure if you really have to worry about getting a shadow resistance buff. I'm gonna show you up here or not. Cause I've seen, I've seen, I've, I probably I gotten a lot of the tank gear. Or the tank gear, which is not just tank warrior gear as well, from uh, which I'm calling uh, doing the quest in Underrealm. A lot of them drop a lot of the warrior gear and a lot less drop ranger gear. 
All right, so you're gonna want to come over here and talk to this guy, and he can give you a buff, and it gives you for 30 minutes you have 150. You can't really read it, but it, trust me, it's 150 plus on your um, what's it called shadow resistance, and it's really useful for the bosses ahead. All right, so I'm just gonna pass by all these guys. I don't, why can't you use mounts in the dungeon? I don't know why you can't. In World of Warcraft, you could. Oh. Hello. Um. But I know this isn't World of Warcraft. Alright, I'm just gonna gather all these guys before I go to the main boss. Uh, I'll leave those guys over there alone. Just take, take these guys out, because they can get really annoying when you're fighting the boss here. Yeah, definitely pack some healing potions because you never know what might, what might happen. Um, I mean, this guy, I, I I beat him last time. Didn't mean didn't mean I could, um, I could beat him again. I mean, I hope I could can, but it didn't mean I can't lose. Yeah, immediately you just attack him a lot. Hope I have healing potions. Okay, good. If you're a ranger, you want to use your snipe as much as you can. And right about now. Right about now, so I want to use my healing potion. So yeah, it's really simple boss. I actually didn't really have to use the healing potion last time, I don't think. Um, I, I, had, I had this axe before. I think I sold it in the auction house. Uh, yeah. But it's fun to come in here. You can, you can get decent money. I mean, if you if you actually, uh, like, stop, if you if you stop and really want to fight almost all the mobs, and you, you, you're willing to pick up the money from them, you can get quite a bit of money out of this dungeon. Um, from last time I, I picked up pretty much everything and fought every mob was about maybe. How much did I get? Maybe 20 gold, I think. Especially if you're alone, because it's simple. You get, I mean, because there's a lot of mobs in here. If you don't know what mob means, I actually don't really know what it means myself. I do know that it represents, like, a basic, like, enemy or monster in a. RPG game or any regular game like Minecraft or something. Yeah, so now you want to go up here. And the reason I'm passing by these guys, if um, if you're if you're a bit of a lower level, like kind of around like 30 or 40. I'd recommend, you can come in here, but I'd recommend, you don't have to come in here with a full team, I'd recommend like maybe a, mon a, a monk or a higher level 70 to help you. Or unless you got some sort of crazy buff that like increases your armor and attack power a bunch. All right, so this is the second boss. Um, Ariel, I didn't have much problem with this one. Um, she did. She did a lot of damage. At least I think she's a she. Did a lot of damage at the beginning, but when I got towards the middle and the end, she didn't do much. Okay, if you you definitely want to use your evolution shot if you're a ranger. Very useful. It does affect your damage over time. Ariel seems to be more of an easier boss to me than the other dude. And at the end, uh, she'll just do this and act weird. Oh, I've never gotten this before. It's pretty cool. I can barely see the stats on that. 
Um, it's called a Rage Breastplate. Um, let's see. Bonds have picked up. Chest plate. 148 armor. 6 plus strength. Requires level 20. And only for warriors. Increases your attack power by 10. Increases your critical level by 9. Um, take that. I think my bag is always full. Hey, I got these um, wind swollen leggings and um, these shoulder pads from the, M the MZN dungeon. Uh, well, metal ziggurat, 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 whatever it's called. Uh, normal. And then MZL's metal ziggurat, uh, legendary, I believe. So I got this, uh, too. I'll be equipping those on level 52. Or not 52, uh, 62. So I have a lot of, like, um, blues and, uh, purples here because I did the dungeons. I do the dungeons. Let's see. What do I use? Let's eat that. That's a, that's a quest item. What? Uh, this, I'm waiting to equip that once I'm a higher level. That I'm waiting to use. Uh, what do I not need? I really need these. You know, I just bought that earlier. I don't really need it. I'd rather have this. Yeah, these guys kind of just sit here, and they're they're trying. They basically, I'm pretty sure they'll they'll still try to kill you, but they're really kind of focused on killing what's your face over there, Ariel. Ariel. But yeah, if you're like around like little forty to thirty, watch out because you can you see these guys are great. There's different levels. If there's a question mark above an enemy, I would highly recommend to not fight them because that means they are very tough and they will just they will just like destroy your. I don't, I don't know what to say. Yeah, but they're not good, so don't do that if you see like a really high. A thing that says it has a question mark, a red question mark, uh, right there. And then if you see something that has, it's like it's like dark, it's like really dark, solid red, and it has a number. Uh, that means it's you can probably kill it, but it's very hard, and there's a lot of chance you you can't really kill it without a healing potion or some sort of buff. And then if it's kind of a more of a light pinkish like um, red, that means you could probably kill it without any buffs, but still watch out and be careful. Um, and then if it's uh, yellow, that means it's just about around your level and you can, should be able to kill it without any uh, difficulty. And then if it's blue, uh, not blue, uh, green, it's kind of a little bit below your level and you should be able to pretty much own it within a few shots and if it's if it's great you're, it's just like way below your level alright so now I'm starting up Cosmo's fight usually I resist a lot of his lightning attacks when he's heated there Alright, and that's Cosmo for you guys. Um, like the video if you liked it and all that. And um, I'll definitely do probably upload a video after this if I can. Um, I guess I can't really get any more of those gear things, can I? Oh. Anyway, I will see you guys later.